Uh, we leave. First of all, I have an announcement that a, a makeup bag was left in the ladies if anyone forgot it. Uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, at this, sorry, could we have order for a couple of minutes? Uh, as you know, uh, our general secretary is indisposed and not with us. And uh, every, the party leader has sent your best wishes uh, to her, and I think we'll do that again now uh, formally at this meeting. It is normal for her, the, the General Secretary, uh, to sum up at this stage of conference. I won't keep you too long. But what I have to say is that the wonderful job that Mags Murphy did. Yeah. Right. Take a bow. Take a bow. She was really thrown in at the deep end and performed superbly. So on all your behalf, thank you indeed, Mags. Well done. We thank the local, thank the local stewards. Yes, thank we're you. going to do that. Now, uh, to conclude, I want to, on Ita's behalf, I want to formally acknowledge the work of the Standing Orders Committee. And uh, even though their reports can... Uh, provoke lively debate from time to time, they do keep things running very smoothly. I have reason to know that over four years. Um, also, uh, our staff, our head office staff and the staff from Leinster, and Leinster House who volunteered in many capacities and did a particularly um, good job, a great job in fact, ensuring our increasingly arduous registration process passed without a hiccup and you know there were security aspects this time. The local stewards uh, did a great job this time. Uh, not that they don't always do one, but they were faced yesterday with an unprecedented difficulty. And as volunteers, uh, they kept things uh, under control. Uh, they found ways, for instance, of getting people out of here. So, in many ways, what was for some people quite an upsetting experience, they made it an awful lot easier, and our very, very sincere thanks to them. <laughs> and of course, many, many thanks to the Gardaí. I think they handled the situation superbly, and uh, I believe that we should make our thanks known to the Gardaí. And uh, there are people to be thanked, like the Party Centenary Committee and um, the, uh, the various officers of the party. Uh, so, to conclude now, uh, I will ask Senator Mary Mourne to lead you all in her rendition of the red flag. Mary. <laughs> I think everybody's going to join in, and I think we'll dedicate this to Ita and wish her a speedy recovery. Okay, so if we're ready. The people's flag is deepest red, it's shrouded off our martyr dead. And ere their limbs grew stiff and cold, their hearts' blood dyed is every fold. Then raise the scarlet standard high Within its shade we live and die Though cowards flinch and traitors sneer We'll keep the red flag flying here Uh, for those of you who have bought tickets in the in the raffle, uh, the party.